once you've finished your form and, and you've got it exactly how you want and you're ready to send it out so people can actually respond to it, then you need to go to this option of send. And from here, you've got a whole range of ways that you can actually send out your form. You could send it out via email here, and then you know the addresses of the people that you want to send, send it to, it, the subject of the email, which will be related to your quiz. You could add a message if you want, and you can either send it as a link in your email, or you could click this box here, which will include the actual form in the email. So that's the way to send it out via email. This one here is the link if you wanted to send it out as a link via your blog or via your website. And it's often recommended to shorten the URL so it's not so long. And that's what you can uh, copy and then paste onto your blog or your website. In much the same sort of way, if you actually wanted to embed the form so it's not a link on your website or your blog and it actually comes up as the form, then you can embed this code here by copying that and then going to the HTML on your website or your blog and pasting in that code. You can also share it out directly to Google Plus or to Facebook or to Twitter. So in this example here, I'm just going to send it via email. Subject, I'm just going to put quiz one and I'm going to include the form in my email. Every time I've also got the opportunity to collect the usernames if I want as well. I'm going to leave that blank for now and, and keep this form anonymous. Once I've got everything as I want it, then I can push send. And you'll know when people have responded because here you'll see that the responses tab, there'll be a bracket and, and however many people have responded at that time. And that document is live and it will keep updating as you get more and more responses.